What's up guys, Eli here, back for another cassette tape video. Um, just my tape collection. It's been a little while since I've done one of these, so um, trying to kind of bring them back into the rotation. So anyways, just like with my CDs and DVDs and stuff, we're gonna do uh, 10 releases. So I got 10 tapes here, um, almost all black metal. There's literally one tape here that is not in the black metal genre. We're gonna start off with this um, 2005 debut full length from this uh, Ukrainian uh, kind of black death metal band. We're talking about Balfour. <clears throat> a um, little bit more raw and a little bit more raw black metal sounding on this release. They would go on to become almost like a behemoth clone. I hate to say that, that more kind of behemoth, kind of epic black death metal type stuff. Um, this is limited to 500 copies. Uh, on an old label that I don't think exists anymore, but it was called Eclipse of Live Promulgation. Pretty nice release. I have, I've listened to this only once or twice, um, so I don't have a whole lot to say about it. I know I definitely prefer this to what they would do later on in their career, which I don't, I don't dig that stuff really at all. Um, I think they're signed to Drakkar Records now, oddly enough. Next we have a uh, debut demo from uh, from 1996 from uh, The Beast. Super, super raw Belgian black metal. Uh, Pacta Conventa de, Mor de Minorium. Um, so this was... This band was started by uh, Nora Guest, uh, who was a... Uh, he was in Enthroned for a long, long time. I don't think he is anymore. I think he's... I can't remember. I can't remember if he's the Enthroned guy that left the um their old singer or if this is their guitar player anyway this guy is or was in um in that band yeah so this is much 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 more raw than enthroned everywhere i, I like enthroned but this is like super super raw black metal um this is not the best raw black metal i've ever heard but it's pretty decent so yeah limited to 500 copies on duke records out of france um, check it out if you like Enthroned, and you're okay with just, just ultra-raw, stripped-down black metal. Uh, the third one, we got the debut demo. This is not This is a repressing of their debut demo uh, from uh, Bestial Summoning out of the Netherlands. Um, Bestial Summoning were one of the most notorious... Uh, black metal bands out of the, the Netherlands. Um, <clears throat> you've likely heard about them, you've likely heard them, but if you haven't, uh, pretty much, like if you like the really, really early Beharit stuff, um, you could probably get into this. Uh, they didn't have a lot of recorded output. They had one full length album and a couple of demos and stuff like that before they split, turned into another band. <clears throat> um, some of the members went on to form uh, a cult which were like a black thrash band. Um, Bestial Summoning, especially on this demo, um, I mean, this is like early, early Beharit type raw black metal, but uh, maybe even more chaotic and more unhinged. Um, and what Bestial Summoning were known for doing were not really writing songs. They would just play and just record what they played. And then they, yeah. So it was very off the cuff and uh, definitely not traditional black metal by any means. Um, I'm not a massive fan, but I do like, I do like the band and I do, I do listen to them from time to time. Next we have, out of Peru, we have Black Angel with Demons. Kind of a clever title. <laughs> the, de the demos or the demons. Um, I have another Black Angel, uh, co a demo compilation as well from a different label. I couldn't find it, but, uh. <laughs> It's not too much different from this. This also came out on Eclipse of uh, Live Promulgation. Yeah. So this is just really, really nasty, kind of early 90s sounding South American type, uh, South to Central American type uh, black metal. You could call it maybe black death metal. Maybe a little bit of war metal type of a sound in there, but very raw and barbaric. This is from 2004. Most of the demo stuff that you hear on here. Is from like the late late 90s to early 2000s so yeah i mean if you like if you like black witchery and stuff like that you'd probably like black angel for me black angel are hit and miss sometimes they're 
kind of generic and, and, and just too sloppy for me and just not very good. But sometimes they'll, they'll, they'll write some songs that really just kind of scratch the itch I have for that kind of, that kind of black metal. Then we have the, uh, this is the second demo from this band, came out, uh, came out in 2004 on Insect, which was a, a Swedish kind of black metal label. Um, this band is from the UK, no, this band is from Germany, sorry. Um, just a one-man project, it's kind of like a black doom, a little bit of, um, uh, a little bit of ambient mixed in there. Very atmospheric, and this is a cool album, or demo, I should say. Um, if you like atmospheric black metal, on the you know on the slow side which a lot of it is anyways I, I i definitely recommend this demo for black autumn it's quite good then we have another band called black autumn but a different black autumn this this band is from uh i think this band is from germany as well they're both german bands so this is more of like an industrial black metal um this release is called isolation this is their um, <clears throat> this is their, let's see, came out in 2006. I can't remember where it sits in their discography, if this is their first or second release. Um, I have not listened to this a lot, to be honest. I don't have a whole lot to say about it other than I remember it being just, you know, very raw, industrial sounding black metal. Um, this came out on a cassette edition, uh, Dresdak, um, old german kind of black metal label i don't know if i even pronounced it right but whatever you can <laughs> you can find it on discogs or metal archives or whatever and then we have the debut full length from california's black cancer this came out in 2016 um this is a self-titled yeah self-titled album came out on graceless recordings Back in 2016, debut uh, debut full length uh, album from this band. I haven't listened to this in a while, but it's it's just really good black metal, raw black metal, but not too raw. It's chaotic. It's kind of traditional black metal sounding, kind of maybe. I don't know. I can't really. I'm not trying to pin it down to any specific influence. Um, I don't know if you like early, kind of an ode to 90s black metal. I'd say. Uh, if you like 90s black metal, I know that's being really vague. You might like this. This is a pro tape. A lot of the tapes I just showed were all dubbed, so I didn't bother showing the, the cassette. You don't need to see a blank tape. But anyway, yeah, Black Fucking Cancer. Not bad. And we have one of my favorite albums, actually. This is uh, this came out in 1990. Uh, this is their this band's 15th studio album. We're talking about Black Sabbath with Tear. This is the third album to have vocalist uh, Tony Martin on. I'm a big, big Tony Martin fan. Um, big fan of Tony Martin era Black Sabbath. Um, I also have this on CD, but I lost it years ago. I think I, I think I still have the CD, but I lost the case, or I have the case, but I lost the CD. One of the two. So it's cool to have this. Uh, cool to have this tape. Um, underrated album, man. This is. This album barely sounds like Black Sabbath. This sounds more like, uh, God, I don't know. More, this sounds more something like Manowar. You know, more Manowar than Black Sabbath here. But I don't mean that in a bad way because I, I Black Sabbath are arguably my favorite band. Uh, but I really like the direction they were going with this one. This is probably one of their most traditional heavy metal sounding albums, and I, I think it's fantastic. Um, it's not everyone's cup of tea. All right, then we have debut album from 2009 from this Brazilian black metal band. We're talking about Black War with Winter Sorrow. This is a really good album. Uh, came out on Hammer of Damnation. Um, raw, raw black metal, but just enough melody in the, in the guitar riffs. It's very cold sounding. Despite being from Brazil, you can totally tell they were, you know, they're not trying to sound like Sarcophago or Mystifier. They're, they're you know... They're more sounding like uh, maybe the Norse, the early Norse black metal stuff. But yeah, really, really good, underrated release. Definitely check out Black War if you'd like some, uh, just some good cold black metal in your life that you probably haven't heard.
Last but not least, we have the second album. Uh, came out back in 2005. This is a t uh, 2017 reissue. We're talking about uh, Black Witchery with Upheaval of Satanic Might. This is, according to many, many people, this is a war metal classic. So Black, uh, Black Witchery out of Florida. You know, one of the, one of the more notorious uh, Black Death or war metal bands, if you will, to come out of the U.S., this actually come the, came out on a really cool, uh, really nice tape shell there. This came out on War Arts Production. Uh, productions. War Arts Productions. I think I have a couple releases from that label. Yeah. Infamous. Infamous stuff. This is a very much cult U.S. band. I don't need to say much about them. I mean, if you're, if you've, if you're into black metal or death metal or both... Um, <laughs> you're well familiar with black witchery. If you're not, I don't know. I, I don't know where I'd start you. Um, I'd say you could you could easily start with this album, or maybe go for their first album. It doesn't really matter. I think they're both really really good. Uh, you know, if you like blasphemy, you know, most most people that like blasphemy love black witchery. Um, I would count myself among them. So, anyways. Ten tapes. That's all I got. Uh, my next video might be a new stuff video. I have I have picked up some music this week, not a lot, um, but I don't see myself getting uh, too much more within the next week or two. So I might just might just do that uh, next. I got other projects I'm working on, like usual. Um, as to as to whether I'll ever finish them is your guess is as good as mine. But anyways, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for stopping by. Louis says hello. He's taking a nap down there. We will talk soon, guys. Cheers.